Hey kids, Mr. Glenn here, hope you're well. So in this lesson four, this is the second part, where we are going to start using a broadcast block. Now broadcasting is really important because it allows us to control all the backdrops, the stage, and the characters that are on the screen. We can send out this message, like a telephone call or an SMS, a a telephone message, a text message to every character and tell them to do something. Usually you can get them to appear and reappear is the most basic form. So when we've got this scene to an end and the boy says, ah, there's my rocket, we can go and put a broadcast block at the end and we can go and put our own message in. So we're going to go and put a new message in. This message can be anything. So. I'm going to call this rocket because he's seen his rocket and the next scene is him walking towards his rocket. So let's go and put that in and click OK. You've now got a block that says when I receive a new message, this time it's going to be rocket. We want the boy to do certain things. So I'm going to go and put when I see rocket. So this is going to be my second scene now. In my second scene, I want the boy to do something and I want the stage to do something. The first thing I want the boy to do, of course, is hide. While he's hidden, I also want him to change his costume or change his pose. So I need to go into looks and in here I can go and switch my costume to boy with flower stood because that is going to allow me now to change his pose and then move him while he's hidden. You can see that he's already changed his costume. However, we don't want the Martian anymore because the Martian's in the way. Let's go into our stage. In my stage, I can now go and put in these events and I can go and say when I receive in the stage I want my background, my new scene to be the rocket scene. I've given you the rocket scenes already. It's here. It's called Life on Mars. So I'm going to go and go to my looks and this time I'm going to switch to backdrop Life on Mars, like that. And you can see that the scene has changed. But the boy, I tapped on him so my stage has changed. So here, my boy, I want him in this position. I want him here. So now that my scene has changed, I'm ready to make the boy move across here just like we learned in lesson three by using the glide function like that. So I'm going to go and bring my scene one out of the way. I'm going to bring my scene two in here. And let's read this. So when I receive rocket, I want the boy to hide, but I also want the boy to go into the correct position, which is over here. So I have to go to my motion blocks and make sure that he goes to the starting point just like I have in this scene here. I need him in the proper starting position. I'm also going to make sure that he is in the correct size as well just to make sure this is simply so that nothing actually happens. So while he's hidden and he's gone away, I'm going to make sure that he's at the same size as he was before. Switch to costume flower stood, go to the correct position, and then I'm ready to start making him show, and then making him glide just like we've done in the other lessons. So I don't want him to glide to here just yet, I want to make sure that he's moving over here. Glide, 
for one second to this position. I have made a mistake, I can just see that I've made a mistake here because he's still speaking. So what I'm going to do is just very quickly delete this and copy the text and put say this for a couple of seconds. Right, that's a mistake by me. I hope you are able to correct that too. Let's go back to where we are. When I receive rocket, I'm going to go and move him. So I'm going to keep going with my glide, make sure I'm in the right space, move him, pick up my glide, move him, pick up my glide, and I'm just checking that the numbers here are going in the right order. So I'm going to go and make him glide a little bit further, glide a little bit further, and so on. Now, when he gets towards the rocket, what I'm going to do is think about how I can continue my realism and make him smaller. That's the end of this part. Good luck.